Welcome to another video from your friends here at Altitude University. If you're flying an older drone and worried about the FAA coming after you next year because your drone doesn't have remote ID capabilities, we've got a solution for you. Before we begin, hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue providing you with more drone related content. What do you think about the new remote ID rule? Leave us a comment below. A few weeks ago, we took a poll on our channel asking if you were ready for the March 2024 remote ID rule to go into effect. 39% said they were, 18% said no, and we were surprised to find that 43% weren't sure what remote ID was. So let's start with a quick discussion on what the heck remote ID is. A few years ago, concerns were raised that rogue drone operators couldn't be tracked. In response, the FAA eventually issued the remote ID rule for drones, effective March 16, 2024. This regulation mandates that all drones are equipped with a broadcasting module for remote identification. The rule aims to improve air safety and security by enabling the identification of drones in flight. The initial deadline was set for September 16, 2023, but was extended to March 2024 due to difficulties faced by some operators in obtaining the required modules. It's important to note that after March 16, 2024, Failing to comply with the remote ID rule could lead to significant penalties, including fines and the possibility of suspension or even revocation of your pilot certificate. The FAA has made it clear that this deadline will not be extended further. Drone operators are advised to ensure compliance to avoid any of these serious consequences. Newer drones have remote ID built in, but if you are flying an older drone that doesn't have remote ID, what do you do? Well, one solution on the market comes from a company called Zing. If you aren't familiar with Zing, they started in 2018 in the drone delivery space with a winch system for package delivery. As the issues surrounding remote ID started gaining traction, they pivoted into the remote ID space. Our friends at Zing were kind enough to let us test out a unit and give the Altitude University community a 10% discount on any modules they purchase. So stick around until the end of the video to get the discount code. For testing, we use the Drone Scanner app, which is available for Apple and Android. The app doesn't have good reviews, but this is largely because people don't understand that iOS only supports Bluetooth and not Wi-Fi, meaning a drone like the DJI Mavic 3 Pro probably won't get picked up by the app because it uses Wi-Fi. Regardless, it worked well for our purposes in testing Zing's ZRID. The ZRID module is manufactured and assembled in the United States and already has FAA approval. It usually costs around $220, making it competitive with other modules on the market. Simply register your device, attach it to your drone using the convenient 3M dual locking system, and you're set. From here, it's as simple as charging it, turning it on, flying your drone, and repeating. You can even enhance your operational efficiency with a web dashboard, allowing you to connect multiple modules, plan flights, and access real-time flight and weather data if you decide to use their cloud-based platform with additional fees. The ZRID is designed for endurance and has an eight hour battery life and a full charge time of just three and a half hours, making it ideal for extended operations. Plus, it's universally compatible with all drones, including popular DJI models. If it fits your drone, it should work seamlessly. The module weighs 35 grams and measures two inches long by one and a half inches wide by one inch high. In the box, you'll get the module, a charging cable, a user manual, a card for a 30-day trial of the cloud-based service, thanks to Skyway, and the CEO's business card in case there are any issues. In testing, the ZRID worked really well. It was easy to set up and easy to use. It picked up on the drone scanner app within seconds of turning it on. With positioning through GPS and GNSS, it does a good job of tracking the distance and speed of the drone, among other things. We definitely feel it's a good solution for you if your drone needs RID capabilities. If you'd like to learn more about Zing's ZRID, you can check out their website using the link in the description below. And as promised, for the Altitude University community, if you would like 10% off, use code ALTITUDE all in caps when making your purchase. 
Order as soon as possible to ensure you have your remote ID module long before the FAA's deadline. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out our video on drone drills with some great drills to test your new remote ID module out on. Click the link to my right and check it out. Until next time, stay safe out there and happy flying.